I came across some scripts where like the VR table at the top, they replaced it with their uh, with their specific name that they want. Because sometimes it might be confusing to maintain the name down all the way down to the script. So what do you feel about it? Like you're replacing VR table with AOI at the top. AOI is a variable name. Okay, variable name can be like I'm saying. I'm saying as you import it, you can change the table. Yeah, it's, it's the default. Name, if you yeah. change or not change, there is no problem because variable oh, name okay. can be anything. You can put any name. If you don't change it, also there is no problem or change, no problem. It's not a problem. Okay. Because you can see previous time I change it. But if you don't change it, also there is no problem. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yes, please. So my uh, question is that uh, you showed how to select a particular region or administrative unit. So uh, how can we download uh, yeah, I'll that show particular you. I'll show you that. Yeah. So first of all, yeah. I will go to the step by step because I already uh, show you that our full course content every day I will explore one by one. Okay, you can see the course content. Um, you can see I just asked for that exporting any shape file in the second day. Okay. So that's we go to the Thank step by step we try to discuss no problem thank you yeah yeah it will be covered or every core topic in my course content which i write i will try to complete all of those inshallah and then discuss all of those no problem yeah okay so now this type of things we do using the javascript api but i want to do using the python okay so in the python how i can visualize this type of boundary and how i can add this type of data in this time we talk about that okay so okay so now what can i do so okay so let me connect with my okay so let me stop the sharing from here just stop the sharing and now share from here okay can you see my screen okay so now we talk about that how we can easily visualize this type of things in the python so it's very easy just to rewrite the code in here so just i reconnecting because again run the okay so let me check okay okay so i run the code again because it disconnected just i import okay i think it's done there is no problem it also connecting with the yeah also And also this okay so now we try to add suppose this um i want to add the boundary shape file which i already added in my asset tab this boundary i want to visualize in my code editor okay so it's very easy similar process we apply in here so first of all simply go to your code editor okay so let me open the code editor to access the asset tab So if you click on the asset tab then you can see the 26 bus okay this is my ad asset id so just i import okay and then click on here and then just copy just copy this copy just copy it Control c just copy and go to your port and then Control v okay so now uh this is my what is not need we already know so this is the table i put the table variable name and then I call my data set. So this is my data set. Just I run it. Okay, done. So now further I want to filter this data set. Suppose I want to filter and or I want to display the layer all of district boundary. So for that, just add function map dot add layer. And call the table because table is stored all of feature. Okay, uh, if you in just I click the run. It shows it's it's working. It's working, but this result or output we find out in the app. If you check, if you check, you can see it show the result in here. You can see it. Uh, where is it? Yeah, it show this Bangladesh boundary. But I want to show display this map below the code. Okay, below the code I want to display. So for that, just use here 
map okay. and not only for that i also want to focus on the center of this boundary shape file suppose i just use here the same function map dot uh, center object okay i put here the object is the table table is stored i put the zoom level 10 you can see it's very difficult you can see all of all of all of font are the similar okay so if i mistake any spelling or if i mistake any function i cannot get it very quickly but in javascript code editor we can easily find out i make the mistake i because it not show, show the purple color but in this case it's very difficult to find out the problem so if i run the code you can see this map is added on the app okay just i go to the app again Okay, find out this is the district okay but i want to add this map below the code so for that just call the map variable name because i already defined the ge map package so just run it so now this map is added below the code so you can easily find out this result so further you want to filter so how we can filter we already know about that so just i take a variable suppose ry just equal sign and i call my collection excuse me sir yeah please so why you here so layer one layer two in python sir python is work for the cell by cell okay cell by cell means that uh, interpret line by line sir please go to the map sir please once this one go to the map yeah this one yes sir scroll up sir so here mention layer and layer one and layer, layer, layer two sir yes down down sir because one layer you can see here layer one and yes, layer sir. two because i run this script two time okay i want to add the layer two time so one time i okay. add on the app hope you can see it also added the another layer but same layer i also add in here you can see first time i add in here and second time also add in here <laughs> Okay, below the code okay below the thank code. you we added the two time okay you can see it's the two time you can see one this is the first time this is the second time and if i run the code again then you also add for the third time or if you and you can also add here the layer name also other is the same process also add the color suppose i want to filter so just i call the filter and i want to apply art engine dot a uh, filter dot equal what's equal what just put here name to and for that <coughs> comma sign and put the value suppose suppose dhaka okay dhaka so now run the code so now this roi is stored for the dhaka if you want you can also uh, put the roi in also in here suppose i want to add the layer so just put here map dot add layer of roi 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 and further I just run the code so now it added the another layer on the up code okay if you check it you can see it added just I uncheck one by one yeah you can see we find the boundary layer 3 if you want you will say add the layer name also other things will say add or you can also remove suppose just click on here it will be removed Okay, yeah, remove the layer yes or no just click on the yes then it will be removed okay so if you want to add the two time just click on here and remove 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 okay and further um, suppose if you want just add the below the code just use here map just call the variable name map because i already defined the ge map package okay because this variable come from here you can see this code come from my ge map this one this one yeah yeah this ge map yeah from here okay because i already make a variable this variable add the map map okay this interactive map we can get from here so that's why when i just call the map it come from the ge map package and add it all of my layer okay again so you can get the layer and only for the open state map because i remove all of other layer just click on it and remove it and further if you just click on here you also get the other opportunity you can see 
you can also uh, change the color also from here you can see the different types of option so just i click on here i want to display the this type of color or red color any color for this boundary okay and further suppose i just put here that different types of, of layer name suppose just put the layer name individually without coding so day by day python is also developed for the cloud computing and also integrate lot of python library so this is the this not finished in only for the seven days online training program further you also try to explore because day by day different types of python package python module is developed okay and day by day so that's why gis and remote sensing not only for the specific topic you focus you just continuous to learning okay just continuous to learning then it also more better suppose i put this layer name um suppose Dhaka. and then further you can see the uh, line type you can put the different if you want you can just the dotted or dash it so different types of style or solid okay and fill color you can see already asked me about the fill color okay suppose you can fill color look like that also different color so you can see in this case we can easily define the boundary line as well also fill color we can easily define from here just apply okay so i think it also yeah so you can get this type of things okay suppose you want to display the fill color another suppose i want to show this type of uh, green color uh, okay then just just suppose i put here this type of color and i can also increasing the opacity suppose just uh, fill opacity you can also increase in or decreasing in here okay so different level increase on here just apply so now it also connecting and we find out this type of result so you can see this python is more interactive we can get the different types of style also python in here okay so this is the process and further if you want you can also work with other data so you also try okay because we already discussed about the some google Earth engine data set so i also keep some assignment regarding this type of topic you also try to add the data from uh, google Earth engine data catalog okay in the python and also filtering your study area and also add this type of things also from here so if you check the google earth engine code editor it provides you with a lot of data okay so just click on here and go to the browse data catalog it provides you that lot of data set okay so you can see the landsat modis sentinel and clicking on the view all data set so it provides you with a lot of data set and this type of data is daily updating and google earth engine community develop different types of data daily and also including in here or if you want you can also suggest the new data set suppose you develop any kinds of data so now you can simply suggest the new data set also submitting your data set also in here and contribute to the google earth engine as a developer so you can see this type of data some data is the globally some data is the regionally we can easily find out so you also try to read all of data description because it provides a lot of data and this type of data is updating daily okay so you can see in this case you also try to filter this type of boundary data you can see this is the one kind of data first level second level okay this type of data you also try to filter and then face any problem then you i also guide you no problem so you can see a lot of data set is available for this google Earth data catalog for the different purpose where you set the different types of data or if you need any specific data simply search here and then check this data set is available or not okay so any any question you can ask me please any question um oh, okay i think there is no question okay so today's session will be in in here and i will send you all of recorded class uh through your email you can easily get it so basically for accessing the recorded class you just log in with your youtube channel with your gmail id okay simply log in with your gmail id and practice code and others material you can easily get from the google classroom okay and also recorded class uh, as soon as possible i try to give you that and um, next class i will take for the tomorrow inshallah at the same time we will meet and further the other topic okay thank you okay any, any question hello sir yeah please please so how can we get the for like is um, safe file like north indian region okay north indian region Okay, for a specific city or a specific boundary, can you tell me the city name? So you also try to explore about this type of data. Okay, suppose data hunting is also another uh, process. 
So try to find out this type of data. But this type of data I think is also available. No problem. You can easily find out. Okay, or sir, you can get yeah. it from the GADM with shape file. I will show you that. Okay. This type of link. You also try to explore this type of data. Sir, for in endogenetic plane, sir, is there any shape file? Yeah, if there is no shape file, then you also try to make the shape file because we are use the ArcGIS Pro or ArcGIS QJ software okay, to digitize okay. the boundary. And and shape file we can also create using the Google Earth Engine also. Just simply digitize your study area and then you can easily make the shape file. So I also show you this type of things, how we can easily create the shape file. So for a specific boundary, so you can simply digitize your study area and then simply export the shape file or KML file, KMZ file or GeoJSON file. We can easily export from here. Okay, I'll show you that okay, in the training program also, no problem. Yeah, any questions? Thank you, please? sir. Um, is it possible to uh, get the data from the OpenStreetMap uh, into the Google Earth Engine? Yes, it's also available from OpenStreetMap or HydroShed data, mainly river HydroShed data. So you also try to explore. Simply go to the Google Earth Engine public data catalog and view all data set and read the description okay there are a lot of data series available lot of data series available okay yes please any question please okay okay i hope there is no question so i will uh, send you all of recorded class as soon as possible and also get all of material and tomorrow inshallah at the same time we'll meet and further this uh, other topic also thank you for joining everyone okay have a good night thank you so much sir thank you okay.